Now, if you're thinking of getting into resin for the first time or you're looking to develop it into more of a side hustle and earn a little bit of extra cash, then one of the resins that I can't recommend enough is the J Diction High Gloss Epoxy Resin. It's crystal clear, has high gloss, odorless. They say it's bubble free, but I don't believe any resin is bubble free. No VOCs, it does resist yellowing, it's non-toxic and it's non-flammable, which are really important issues when you're using resin. Although make sure that you're using the right PPE. But why it's so versatile is because you can make little thin things with it like this, jewelry pieces, but you can also do medium sized deepish pores with it. And why I think this is really useful if you're not going to the full hog and having the deep pour. So you could have a really nice inventory of stuff to sell by just using this one resin. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things how it works really well today. The first one is on this mold. Now I've had this mold a long time. I had it sent to me, but do you know what? I have no idea what it is a mold of. So let's turn it inside out and see. I still have no idea to be perfectly honest. But it's got a little face on it. It could be an onion or something like that. I have no idea. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna cover this in some foil before I go ahead and do anything else with it. And I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean first, just in case there's any dust or bits and pieces in there. Let that dry, that'll be nice and clean, and then my foil will stick to that lovely. I still have no idea what it is. It's really easy to stick foil onto it. This is just a metal foil that I buy that is really actually very very cheap. You get loads of it all in different colours and I just place it on there. Now I've seen other people doing this. I discovered this by absolute accident a while back and I explained that in a video but I have seen other people doing this now which is great. They probably did it even before me. I don't know but all these things we find out don't we so if you did then i apologize if you didn't then i'm glad you enjoyed it and it will stick to this silicon mold wonderfully look look how lovely that is sticking to it now the reason i'm doing this inside out is because when you turn it the right way around you get like a crackle look to it and i particularly like that crackle look but believe me this will stick to everything that is slightly like this <laughs> And it can be a little bit messy, but don't worry about that. What are we doing if we're not crafting, if we're not making a mess? I dropped a whole pot of gold glitter earlier. So that's covered now quite well. And all I'm going to do is turn this mold in the right way. And this is how it will make all that crackle effect in there. Now, I don't seem to have enough around this edge here. But I'm not too worried about that. This is just really to show you what you can do. Now push my brush in there again and just rub that down and give that a smooth over. And you will get a brilliant crackle effect, I promise you. This resin is really easy to mix up as well. It's ideal for the beginner. All the more experience, it's just a one-to-one -one resin and it mixes really well. Mixes slowly as normal, going in a figure of eight, and then you're not gonna have any problems. Now, it takes color beautifully, and as you know, I like mica powder. So I've used this mica powder as my base color for this. I'm so excited to find out what this is actually going to look like at the end because I literally have no idea what it's going to look like. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I've just had to buy a new mask and it was really expensive. So every coffee goes towards something in the channel. Thank you so much. If you'd like to buy me coffee, link's in the description. I've also done some clear ones as well so I can show you what it looks like when it's finished. Now, this is the stars. Now, I'm so messy with these stars. I don't know why. I had them everywhere in the end. They were stuck to my gloves all over the place. I also really enjoy and love the look of two-tone things. And resin does two-tone really well. It looks superb when it's finished. Check out my other crafting channel as well. I have a crafting channel where I do lots of upcycle things, some fun things, some educational things and all different things. The link for that is in the description below. I'd love to see you over there. So if you come over, leave me a comment as well. So I know you've been. So finishing off this, pouring it in gently and these will make beautiful earrings once they're finished and just something a little bit different but nice and easy. Here are the names to all my members. The membership has grown wonderfully. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all my members. We have such a great time together. We have a Facebook group, we have lives, we have members only videos, we have tuition, we have support and it's just a really helpful friendly group. If there's any members watching this, let people know how much you enjoy the membership below. It really will help. 
So filling in my alcohol inks and then it's all about putting on top a sinker. Now I'm using the Let's Resin alcohol inks as they don't fade, but I do use the Pinata sinker because I like that better. So I will link all those in the description below. I've found these are without a doubt the best alcohol inks and I've done a few tests on them as well. So pop in some more colour in and then I'll let these all cure up. Well, these have all cured up now and they've cured up lovely. This one did cure up a little bit quicker than these, but then it is a deeper mould and that is why, because the exothermic reaction is a little bit more. So let's have a look at this. I'm quite excited to see what this is, to be honest, because I have no idea. Oh, and it is a little plant pot. Oh, and I think that's come out lovely. There is a little bit of overpour here, and that is actually mostly just the leaf that I use. So that's going to come off really easily with my deburring tool. I love this tool. I use it so often. I'll link it in the description below if you want to get hold of one. They're really cheap. Take off little pieces with it rather than big pieces. I would plant something up in there, and I would sell it at a craft fair with a plant in it that I've grown from a cutting and I'm going to be talking about that in a video coming up soon as well how to present and sell your stuff at a craft fair to get more the best profits you can from it and to get more sales so look out for that video so that's done lovely cured up beautiful I love that result and the crackle effect that it gives using that leaf so let's have a look at the other pieces because obviously we've done a deeper pour and more shallow pours with this resin and the other great thing about this resin is it is very very reasonably priced i believe a gallon of it which is what you get you get two of these sizes is about 75 dollars or 75 pounds and these have cured up beautifully and hard no flexibility to them they take on the colors wonderfully look at that they really have those earrings taken on those colors lovely they also work so well as a clear and I know I put some glitter in this because I couldn't just have a clear piece but look how beautiful and clear that is there is no bubbles in that whatsoever and all those stars are singing in there and it also works really well with alcohol inks now alcohol inks isn't my foray as you know but I do like playing around with these let's resin ones and they've worked really well in there as well given some great patterns in there with the alcohol inks so if if you're a beginner or to be honest if you're more advanced then this is a brilliant resin to use as i said at the beginning it is such a versatile resin you can do so much with it hope you've enjoyed this don't forget to boot that like button it really helps my videos to get out there i have left links to everything in the description below if i've got a discount code i'll also put that in the description below as well for you so that you can get a discount on it take care enjoy your resin bye